and welcome to your second tutorial on how to make a Minecraft mod for 1.2.5. I'm FlyGuy1121, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you all how to make a new block. I'm also going to teach you all uh, good ways to make textures, um, and a bit of Java code. Um, now, Minecraft mods are programmed in Java, however, Knowledge of Java is not completely necessary. It is very useful, but not completely necessary if you're making basic mods. So, you'll notice um, here that we have a bunch of new files after we decompiled Minecraft. Um, that's normal and everything. The main file we're going to want is, e the main folder, uh, excuse me, is Eclipse. And then we'll go into Client. Now, we don't have anything in here yet. Because what we need to do is we need to run Eclipse. Now, um, I actually already have a tutorial on how to download and set up Eclipse. It's um, on my channel, Java Tutorial 1. So go ahead and watch that if you don't have Eclipse. I do have Eclipse, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it. Okay, now here's the important part. For under Workspace, you need to hit Browse. And then go to where your MCP Eclipse folder is, and then hit open. Then hit OK and run Eclipse like normal. OK, so now we're in Eclipse. Go ahead, just ignore the server stuff right now, because we don't have um, anything decompiled for the server. Go ahead and open up client source, and then net.minecraft.src. And you'll notice it gives us a ton of files. Um, now, you'll notice that it is giving us a warning. Don't pay any attention to that. It is useless. Um, yeah. Okay, so now that we've got all that set up, we need to create a new class. So go ahead and select this package and create a new Java class, this little button right here. Um, under name, uh, let's. it needs to be the name of our mod. Now, generally, you want to start this file, since it'll be our main mod file, with mod underscore and then the name of your mod. This will be mod underscore tutorial, um, simply because this is not a real mod and it is a tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and Head, uh, go, go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and you'll see it gives us some basic stuff. Now, if you know Java, then you'll know package net.minecraft.source is pretty much telling it to be in this in this um file in not file folder. Um public class mod tutorial is declaring a new class. If you really want to learn Java, which it's very useful when you're modding, then go ahead and watch some of my Java tutorials on my channel. And yeah, okay. So after we've got this, we're going to need to do a few things. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, after public class mod underscore tutorial, hit extends and then base mod. And you'll see it's giving us a warning because it must implement the inherited um, method get version. Hit add un add unimplemented methods and just delete these annoying comments. Okay, so it gave us a few new lines of code. At override is just telling it to override a parent class's methods. Okay. The first main thing is public string get version. And in this one, it's important to know that this is called a method. Again, if you know Java, I apologize. This is for the people who don't know Java. So you've got a method here, get version. And you'll see it has to return a string. Right now, it's not returning anything because it's returning null. Go ahead and delete null and put two quotation marks. Now, this is going to be the version of your um, mod. I'm just going to do tutorial 
v 1.0 and that gives you um i'm not quite sure what this is used for all i know is that you need it now the main thing we're going to need is this at override public void load method and this is very important this is where all of your main code is going to go to initialize your mod now we're going to first need to create a new class and this is going to be our block class so if you go ahead and hit new class name this block um tutorial block and generally your blocks should always start with block items should always start with items but we'll get to items in another tutorial go ahead and hit finish now you'll see it gives us the same thing here the first thing you need to do is hit extends, um, not mod loader, um, block. And it gives us a warning, just hit add constructor. And I'm just going to go ahead and do I delete this one and then material. And these are our parameters for the method. Now, inside this super thing, hit I material, or I comma material, and you're done. Yeah, you don't really need a whole lot more than that. I'm, okay, so, now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a texture for this mod. I'm going to go ahead and use a texture for from a mod that I've made called Underground Bunkers. Um, if you are interested in that, then I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. Um, and okay, so I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to use the purpureum or .png. Let's see. So what I need to do to load in a texture in Eclipse is Find your texture and then drag it over into Eclipse. Select copy files and then hit OK. Now you have your texture. If we go down to the very bottom, then you'll notice Purpurio More is right here. So now what we need to do is we need to create an instance of block tutorial block go go um, above your string get version method and type public static final block and then um, the name of your block so this will be tutorial block now And it has to be initialized. So hit equals new block parentheses and then, or no, not new block, new block tutorial block. And see, so here you needs to be the name of your block class. Um, and that comes in handy later when you start doing stuff specific to that block. Now, new block tutorial block, and you'll notice it's giving us an error because we have to put in the um, parameters. Now, i, you'll notice, you'll remember that we had int i. i is going to be your item ID. It should be somewhere above 170, I believe, but it is below 2000 or something. So you can't do like a really huge number because it won't work. I'm just going to do um, 179 because I know that's not used and then hit comma. Now you'll notice we also have material material. That is going to be the material for your block. I'm just going to do material dot and then it gives me a bunch of materials to use. 
I'll do material dot um where is it? Wood. And there we have it. We have the new block. Now we also need to um do a few things inside our load method. The first thing you need to do is mod loader dot add whoop, no not dot add I'm thinking I'm still thinking Java stuff. Model loader dot register lock and then tutorial lock. The name whoop, the name of your new block. I'm I just saved that. Okay. So, the next thing you need to do is mod loader dot add, um, let me think, add override. And this is going to set the texture for your new block. Um, the first thing is, um, you just need to type slash, um, what is it? I always forget the name of this one. Just go into MCP, MCP2, source, Minecraft, no, jars, bin, Minecraft.jar. And um, pay no attention to this. I always forget the name of this one. Terrain.png. So just here, type slash terrain dot png, and then you need the name of your texture. This one is purpureum, or I believe, yes, except it's capitalized here, purpureum or dot png. It should generally be a dot png file when you make a texture. Um, just saying. Okay, so there is something I forgot. After register block and add override, you need to do mod loader dot add name and tutorial block and then the name of your block. I'm going to just go ahead and do tutorial lock. Now this is the name that's going to be displayed um, when you hover over it in your inventory in Minecraft. Another thing I forgot is up here where block tutorial block equals new block tutorial block. After these parentheses hit dot, no, dot set block name and then your block name. Tutorial or real lock. And this is important. It's what mod loader registers your block as. Okay. Now um, we need, okay. So now we need to add a recipe to know that our block is actually there. So the way we do that is really easy. Mod loader dot add recipe. And it gives you a few things. It gives you item stack and object. So for item stack, just do new item stack parentheses. You need the name of your block. So tutorial lock, comma, and then the number that it's going to produce. So let's produce 64. For an object, just type new object. And that's it. Now, go ahead and um, move this little parenthesis semicolon down a few lines and type, no, not the last one, and type this and type the little squiggly brackets. Now, inside here, you need your recipe. So go ahead and type parentheses, comma, parentheses, comma, parentheses, comma. 
outside of the parentheses. Now, inside the parentheses, you have your recipe. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type the recipe, and then I will um, tell you what it means. So I'm just going to do DDD, DDD, and DDD. Now, what does this mean? Okay, so the first one is pretty much the top row in your inventory, and then this is top right, or top left, this one is top middle, and this one is top right. Then this one is middle left, middle middle, and then middle right, bottom left, bottom middle, bottom right. Um, and you, they don't have to be the same thing. You could do, let's put in a uh, lowercase d. And it, it's pretty much, you're just going to assign this letter to an item or a block so it doesn't really matter what letter you put. Now, go under it, a line, and type, oh dear, okay, so type quotation marks D, type D, and then if it's an item, you would do item dot if it's a block, and since dirt is a block, I'm going to do block dot dirt, and then comma. And what this is doing is it's setting D to block dot dirt. So our recipe will be dirt, 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 something, dirt, 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 dirt. Now let's do it again with lowercase d. And let's set this one to item dot diamond. So our recipe will be dirt, 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 diamond, dirt, 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 dirt. Okay, so that's all we need for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And you'll notice it's going to crash. Oh, it's not going to crash. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, so go ahead, create new world and let it generate. Okay, so I'm going to give myself 64 dirt, um, and a diamond, and a crafting bench. And I'm going to just go ahead and put dirt here. And you'll notice it's not giving us our texture, but it's giving us a block. That doesn't do much. Okay, um, so I'll figure out why it's not giving us a texture, but that is how to add a new basic block. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a bit posy. It is my first modding coding tutorial, um, so I was a bit nervous. Um, and my next tutorial should be coming out later, um, and I'll see you all next time.